Hey guys, it is Holy Basil back here with another voiceover, and here is a leg workout from uh, my most recent leg day. I was in a little crunch for time, uh, but here I am doing <clears throat> some RDLs, and this 365 is an RDL PR, and uh, so my goal is to do 405 for uh, 5 to 10 in the next year, I'm trying to grow this these glutes and these hams and I think that this is excellent but just watch out guys these are so fatiguing and taxing that you can't do them I would say more than twice a week and uh, make sure that you have adequate recovery because uh, today as this is from yesterday I wasn't able to to do any back work because my lower back was lit up my traps, my rhomboids, and even my rear delts. So these are pretty gnarly. Uh, but today was a short workout. And uh, a problem with that is what I want to address here in the video. And that is the title of or topic of discipline. And uh, so I usually work out before work, I work 12 hour shifts as a nurse and have to be at uh, shift change around 630. And because of that, sometimes on the days that I work, I'm not able to work out that long. And I find myself not making the most of my time, scrolling on my phone. And usually I like to, to read my Bible before work, pray, sometimes worship some. And getting on my phone just eats up time. And I think it goes down to some like cheap hits of dopamine. I was speaking with a coworker and we have just all these cheap ways of getting little stimuluses and whether that's purchasing things or uh, pornography or drugs, uh, whatever it might be, but things that spike our dopamine that are really cheap and that we have to pay consequences for. And I say cheap in a sense of they don't require much effort on our part, or they don't require strength. And I want to talk about being a disciple because discipline and being a disciple go hand in hand. Uh, Proverbs ten seventeen, whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whomever ignores correction leads others astray. 2 Timothy 1 7. For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self discipline. So we know that following God, that we can acquire self discipline. Uh, side note, uh, these are kind of like some bridges. Uh, it might look kind of goofy with the band. It's really difficult to hit your hamstrings for a curl at home without any other equipment. Uh, of course, you can do your, your RDLs, but. These look kind of goofy, but try them out if you have a home gym. I promise you that they that you feel a good stretch and a contraction. But anyway, back to this one. Uh, Hebrews 12, 10 through 11. They disciplined us for a while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share his holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at that time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So this physical discipline that we have um, in this gym community of going to the gym and exercising frequently, I don't think it's hard because I enjoy it, to be honest. And I usually have caffeine before a workout, so it's not necessarily hard. But I want to build my character and I want to do the things that I don't want to do that make me a better man, a better Christian, a better person. Uh, and I know that I'm capable. Uh, so rather than distracting myself with endless scrolling on YouTube or watching videos or watching TV and movies, I want to be more disciplined with my time. That way I can provide better care to my patients, better attention and love to my spouse. And I think discipline in the gym that we, if we take it up a notch in our eating, eat better things, watch our calories better, discipline in our monitoring of our workouts. Uh, I'm terrible with keeping track of my workouts 
and trying to progressively overload. Uh, but I know that this discipline, it, when if I apply it to the little things, it will start seeping over into every category of my life. Uh, so I just encourage you, if you're listening today, to be more disciplined. Uh, it will make you a better disciple. It will make you a better husband. It will make you a better father and leaking over into every category of life. And man, oh man, did I realize now how awful this angle was. I wish I would not have recorded it, uh, so please forgive me. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you for listening. And I'm really excited about the days to come. Um, and just let me know if you guys have any ideas or anything that you want to talk about. All right, peace.